Welcome back, gents. Uh, we were just, uh, screwing around here. And you see these cracks in the wall? Kaboom! And apparently there's this guy in here with, like, no doors or no anything. And we actually get a new weapon. Which are mines. And these things will fucking make you rage so hard. I know they do me. Oh, wait, shit, I didn't go on it. <laughs> what the hell was that again? Okay. There we go. Now we did it. Alright. The mines are like things from death. It's a good thing I played most of this beforehand. Because I would like bust a nut with these things. These things piss me off. Cause like always when you hear it, it's probably cause you're about to die. Hey guys. In the empty room with nothing in it. How the fuck do they put these? They just like put them in the ceilings and wait for a guy to blow up the the, the wall to, <laughs> and then defend it. That's you know what? I I, I love these games because they don't make any sense. Oh, but that's ultimate fire makes a time detonation. And it, there's a explosion right there. And we'll just turn on this. And it's this little sucker. I can't shoot because he's in my face. There we go. And more stormtroopers. I was jumping at this point just so I could aim because I don't want to constantly adjust my, my perspective because it just fucks me up. Oh! You! Imperial droid. Alright, now we go up here. And now we get into the main section of. Uh, the level, which is basically the detention center. Now the first thing I want to mention is, oh, I need the red key for this. Well, I... there's a nice conveniently blown-up door here. Let's wait for it to blow up. And there's actually another door here. So, we go blow that up. It's actually just above. And now... oh, no, apparently decided not to. Guess I'll just harm myself. And look, we're in like some strange uh, underbelly. And so this is supposed to be, I think, a clue of what you're supposed to do. It's showing four levels, three levels, and how you get in. Because there's a there's, the elevator's right here, and it's um, I'm sorry to say it confused the living shit out of me when I when I actually played this my first time. And every time I did, I had to. Okay, think about it this way: it was 1995. There were no walkthroughs. Okay, like you go on like Game Facts or something, you look up like whatever you have a problem with. You could do that today, but you could not do that in 1995. Um, there was no Google, there was no nothing like that. There was like, just figure shit out yourself. And it sucked. That is a noise you will learn to hate, if you're anything like me. Because look at the range on those. They, th those mines were actually hitting me. You saw how far it was. They blow up instantly, and there is no way to get away from them. Like, you're going to take damage. You can sprint as far as long as you want. Yeah, look, it's still hitting me. Those things are ridiculous. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, more mines and a backpack. I know what the backpack does. Alright, so we have another key code. We don't even know what to do with it. You have to be really careful, because they even have mines in the fucking secrets. <laughs> like, how much of a dick do you have to be? Oh man. Oh, Alright, there that's pretty much it for all the, the places here you can go into. Oh, and more shields. Now this is like a little bit of an interesting secret. Uh, I'll show you guys, I'm not gonna take any of it. Um like you think nothing of it, because there's like a you come from this side, it's like, oh what do you do here? But you go over here, it's like, oh shoot that. And over there is a revive, but I have full health already, so I'm not gonna bother. Just want to show you guys in case I never come back here. Now this is a uh, the part I call grenade spam. I know it looks like nothing. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. This is why you grenade spam. You can you can hear down there. There's shit going down. Because if you go down there without this, uh, you're gonna just get fucked up. There you go, they're all dead. Because there was like, there's two turrets, a couple guys, but there's an extra life which makes it all worth it. 
but it doesn't make it worth it if you die while you come down here. Which is why I'm, I'm smart and I, uh, I play this game in advance so I know what's, what's happening. Although, you know, it kind of removes the mystery, I guess. I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys like better. You like that if I've played game? Whoops. If I haven't played the game before, or like, like I'm just trying to remember everything? I don't know. So, Apple X, uh, triangle. I'm gonna take, also take note that there's a blue uh, outline around this, which is the blue for this. So, Apple. Oh, crap. Looks like an apple to me. And X. And whatever it opens the door on. Triangle. Okay. I have, I've had enough root shit. Now we get a new weapon. It looks like a giant metal ass, so <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they designed this. But uh, I'll show you what it does. It's a motor gun. Which is fucking sweet. But it's really not worth wasting the ammo on these guys. And these bullets are bouncing everywhere. Okay, I'll show you what you <laughs> I'll show you what happens here. Okay, so you come here and it's like watch them kill themselves. Hey guys. It's a reflective surface. <laughs> so the bullets actually bounce back at them. So they will literally kill themselves for me. Thank you very much. However, in this room over here. I think I have my headlight on still. If you press that switch. I don't know how you would know to do this, but you know. And then you go back. Oh look, it's off all of a sudden. Yeah, it was all on. Okay. And then you press another switch. Oh, that, that, that's the same switch. It just targets it again so you can leave. Um, and then you toggle the doors. And we are at a detention center. Uh, straight out of the movie, actually. Really good design. This is, this, remember the three movies came out. At the, they were already out at this point. And they've done actually a pretty good job at embedding kind of the Star Wars universe in. So they kill a bunch of prisoners who, for some reason, want to kill you. Um, I don't know, they're just angry. But, you know, they have items in here, which is why you kill them in the first place. You can, like, face them in hand-to-hand -hand combat if you really want to. If you're, like, a badass. But, you know, they're already all dead, so... We're, we're done with that. No other point to this place other than that. And then you open it up again. And then we go now down another floor. And we just kill a bunch of guys. Oh, you piece of shit. Alright, and now we're gonna get to a part which I had a lot of problem, trouble with. Oh, look, it's a reflective door. Well, look at the glowiness. Oh, and now I can. Nope, I can't go through it. When it stops glowing. It's when it stops going, you can go through it. See? <laughs> you go through it once, how the fuck would you figure it out? Because <laughs> you think the entire time that it's actually uh, a permanent shield. But no, it isn't. And that's I, that's where I got stuck the first time I did this. It was just fucking horrible. Because I was just running, running around. I'm like, okay, where do I go next? I don't know. Okay, you gotta be careful. I... I, I don't ever trust any of this stuff. Uh. Okay. We'll just keep going through. We have this interesting room with like a, a target which you have to hit. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of cool things like that I, I, I kind of like about this game. We just have like random rooms. Here's another random room. Yeah, this has a... That thing will actually... Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we've got the red key now. And we got to wait for it to go off, we run through. I don't know what the hell it is about that room, but it actually hurts you, so... Be careful, kids. I like how I, I, I kind of missed him, but the bullets bouncing all over the place actually hit him. And this is actually a separate elevator, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> Which confused me as well, because I thought it was the same thing. I didn't quite figure it out by the picture that you randomly saw that it did anything. Make me help. Okay, we got two more key codes. Any destructible doors? No. Okay, and um... You know, you might want to love to go down there, but uh... Notice anything? Oh look, there's a shit ton of mines! Oh. 
Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to go there, so um, I'll I'll go there when I have the time to kill all these guys. Okay. And the best thing you can do is just uh, throw a bunch of grenades. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. Imagine my surprise when I first came down there and I saw a bunch of mines. Cause that's the thing, if I if I play a game beforehand, I miss surprises like that. But you know, you, you have to watch me lose a whole lot though. Like here I'm doing actually fairly well, I haven't died once. And we got more key codes. But don't fear not, as we actually have all of them. And there, But there's no actual point to this place other than uh, you get a bunch of bonuses. So let's just, uh, whoops, why do I always press escape? Um, so you see, now there's orange ones. X, triangle, half triangle. X, triangle. It's just a lot of like, little places just to, like, I don't know, waste your time or something. It wasn't this door. We really don't want to fall down there. Not right now. I, I'll fall down there eventually. Yeah, I know one of these rooms has something. Okay, we got infrared goggles, more shields. And as for the other room, uh, pressing escape again. It's three half triangle D. Okay. Three, uh, three. Come on, three. Okay, half triangle D. Okay, there's another one. By the way, you're hearing doors in the background constantly, but I don't know why. Now, over here, there's a mine. Right there. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I don't know what the hell they're doing in a room with a mine in it, but you know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Leave your guesses in the comments below. Oh, we got that one? Alright. Uh, is it worth the risk yet? Okay, let's go. Fuck. Oh, I hate that noise so much. Because I have died so many times. Upon hearing that noise, you would not even... Like, I'm not even joking about that. And there's no way... There's just no way to escape. <laughs> it's... It's a horrible noise. And this, that, mechan that does not go away. Not by a long shot. Like... It stays forever. Anyways, let's go up another floor. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're in M block, which is actually where um, Medine or whatever his name is. But well, there's a slight problem. Um, you can't get this door open. Um, I've tried. There's no switches. There's nothing. Because there's a special way you're supposed to do it. And I'm about to show you. Fucking pain in the ass, that's what it is. Okay, here's what you do. I don't know how you would know to do this. You just, like, buy that puzzle. You send the elevator up the floor. You backtrack through here. Just. Okay, we go back. Okay, we're going back. Uh, don't need shields. And just wait for it. Nope. Okay. Now we go into this elevator. We take it all the way to the top. Like, this has to be perfectly set, like this. Okay, this, you send it down a floor. This door now opens because we have the red key. Okay, you open the door. Oh, look, we can go in the shaft. And now we can open this. And look, now we're in the ventilation shafts. And since the elevator is now on this floor, we can actually go through here. How the fuck you'd under know how to do that uh, is beyond me. It does give you hints, but it's not anything like inclusive, and there's a turret there which I'm skipping. And now you get this uh, interesting platforming segment. And I can't get up there. Um, okay, the door, like, the randomly, the sound went out. Alright, just finish these. And we go over here. Okay, just want to finish this up, and look, another mine. Ridiculous. Yeah, there I am. Stop me. Try it, I dare you. Oh boy. Okay, and we had two key codes from before. Let's just kill the rest of these guys. And um, 
there's two key codes, and the first one just opens up a bunch of enemies, which I don't really want to kill because we're at almost out of time. So F, X, R. F, X, R. Now, thank God. Okay, Jan. I rescued Maydeen. Don't hang around. Let's get out of here before any more troopers arrive. We don't have to wait, so we don't have to go back to the beginning. Very fortunate. Okay, and that's it. We'll uh, do the rest tomorrow. I uh, hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys really quickly that like this is my alternate account, which I was uh, trying to play through the entire game. I only made it up to here, and then I started failing miserably. So I'm just saying we got about three levels left until it's technically blind again, which is what you guys have been requesting to see. You guys didn't like the fact that I played it beforehand. So anyways, um, so there's this dude. It's mock. We finally know who's behind it all. That bastard. Um, love text. And all we do is we place a tracking device. Oh, I remember doing this. First time I did this, I died right at the end. It was so, it was really, really horrible. Anyways, there's really no sense in killing these guys, I guess, but we're just doing it for fun. So, go screw yourselves. I don't know. Stormtrooper killing is just crazy fun. Where did he come from? Did he, like, just randomly spawn? Anyways, uh... I don't know if we get any new weapons uh, soon. I hope we do, because there's like the ass weapon, which is like, I don't know. And this thing. The ass gun. <laughs> I have ruined it for so many people. That's what they're going to think about every time here. Let's use the ass gun for fun. <laughs> Eat ass. Uh, well, we're just on the outside now. We're actually trying to go inside. And here's the decor. We meet a new enemy, which is... I think it's new. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's the, one of those pig things. And then there's a bunch of those grenade lobbing bastards. Now, the problem with the Malay guys is that they actually yield no ammunition of any sort. So it's not like, you know, when you're running low on ammo, you can't just... Oh, crap. Oh, shit. No, no. Get me out of there. These things explode. And that's a mine. Okay, and that, those things that just explode, that's all they do. Okay, there we go. We got more ammo for the ass gun and uh, some shields. Excellent. Okay, uh, going back here. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be here. Screw you. Uh, yeah, these, these guys can be a real problem, because it's just like, yeah, you don't gain any reward from killing them. They're just kind of in the way. You don't have kind of like a decent melee kind of a weapon. You just have your... Oh, fuck. Okay, I missed one. Uh, we're not supposed to come this way, I think, yet. Uh, actually, screw it. Let's just go. I don't think we missed anything. Fuck ah. Okay, we get a little maze here, actually. It's pretty it's pretty neat at maze. Uh, it's like these walls keep disappearing and appearing kind of a thing. And leading to other places. So now this wall there. Not here. Ow. And now we run into the problem of the mines. I I'm now forgetting where they are. <laughs> They're in the least convenient of places, so I think I'm going to have my first death real soon. Oh god. Oh, thank you. Okay, and there's one of those things again. Now, I always think that these boxes are supposed to be secrets, but they never are. I'm always sadly disappointed. Okay, we just go in the boxes. Oh, thank you for the mine. It still hurt me a little bit. Oh boy. And he killed me in one head. Okay, that would be my first death, I think. And unfortunately... Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, no. Not unfortunately. That was a lame death. Okay, we have to go around. It spawned me in the wrong way. Or maybe it didn't. Oh, it was just the elevator was here. I hate you bastards. It's kind of cheap just to, like, you know, fire away at them. And now we get back to, like, the perfect accuracy. 
Holy crap. Okay, never mind, they're, they're dead now. It's all good. <laughs> Just absolutely perfect accuracy. Oh man, even if they miss, they'll still hit you. That's why you need to go real close. Oh boy. It doesn't help much that I suck at, like, dodging this crap, so... <laughs> Here we go. And we also have the problem right now of, uh... These guys haven't actually been giving me that much ammunition, which means I'm running out uh, on the, uh, blaster. So I'll start using some of this, so if we pick up any up... Okay. But, the problem will soon be avoided by the fact that we're going into a place with a lot of stormtroopers. This is like, um... I don't know where this, this reminds me of. I think it's, this is like Death Star decor kind of thing? I don't know. Don't look at me. Okay, and they also have mines here. Which, you know, blow up on themselves too, thank goodness. And there's a mine there randomly. They have, they have a lot of mines around here. And like another one there. Like they're now just in the random corridors, you know, you just uh, hear the beeping and there's no escape. That's why you have to run like right past everything. It still may not help though. Yeah, right there. Uh, well we just get like some health and uh, here we get a shortcut to where the hell is this? What the fuck? Like every day for work you just have to like crawl under that thing. <laughs> I don't know what. You know, I, I feel kind of bad for these guys. They have like really shitty jobs. I'm gonna work for the Empire when I grow up. And then he's the one who's kind of like in, in the door, the room with no doors on it. Alright. Nothing in here. Fuck. Uh. Because <laughs> the thing is, you see it and you react, but it does not matter. Yes, I'm in violation of something. Oh shit, no, no, no. I'm just throwing grenades in. And that handled all of them. This is like their bathroom. I'm, I'm assuming it is. Kinda nasty. Imperial bathrooms. I mean, you gotta take your crap somewhere in space. But, like, they're all urinals, though, so <laughs> what the fuck? Part of being. Part of uh, joining the Empire means your uh, anus gets surgically removed. This is why stormtroopers are all pissed all the time. And just, like, chucking grenades down. Oh, look, everyone's dead. Okay, and here we get just a random weapon supercharge. You know, just, just cuz. Oh crap. Eh. There we go. And let's try and put it down again. Thank you. Being my way. But even that, even like the ass gun will fire like a lot faster. Everything fires faster. It's insane. Alright, and there's actually nothing here of any value, so let's go back. There's that there's a secret over there somewhere, but I've I've never figured out how to get it, and I don't really care. It's like underneath here. I just want to take out everyone. Before they cause me some problems. I will not surrender video. No. Oh, well that's the end of that fun. You know, they have a lot of guys in these installations, but they just seem can't seem to protect it against like one guy. It's amazing how useless stormtroopers actually are. I think I'm looking a little too high though. Let's go down a bit, okay. Because I was like shooting at the ceiling there for some reason. <laughs> And more control rooms. They're, run they're very running. They're very running theme of this game. These control rooms. And these guys are so damn accurate. This pisses me off. Also, there's just random grenades. And oh, there's the key. 
Yay! Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Kind of makes you dizzy how fast they run. I, I miss that kind of agility in games. Just like fucking just run all over the place. Cause you know it's not like not like they need like they they were act dead accurate most of the time anyways. It's just mostly their weapons and some certain limitations which cause them to miss. All right, I think we have everybody. Oh boy. Now, I say oh boy because it's um it's not necessarily a hard part, it's just a, like really annoying. Cuz you're about to find like they have like a couple random mines uh in places which I don't remember where they are. And they're like in the most unfair places ever. It's just, just some cruel designer. Holy shit. Like that. And someone said halt immediately when that went off. Didn't actually do anything now. Oh him. Can't really these guys have like the same voice as the Scarf Trooper, so whatever. Now I'm pretty sure up there. Yes. See? And that one's always annoying me because there's all these modar shells, but you know, it's like, is it worth it? Because you're gonna get killed a whole lot. Alright. And can we open this? Oh, let's switch on the side. Oh boy. Hey guys. The reason why they don't fire this fast, I think I mentioned, is because this is a modified gun. Could have sworn there was a thing around here. Okay, I guess not. Anyone else around here? There I am. I, I feel kind of bad because they just see me for a second, but they unfortunately cannot react. All right, well, nothing over here. Oh, look at that. Boom. Okay, well, the exit is somewhere around here, but we're gonna just set off some mines first. And this is like a, I don't know. Oh, this is the actual shuttle. Like we actually, this is a docking bay. We actually entered the shuttle. Oh boy. Oh, here's another one. This is where I died, right at the end. This is why I got so pissed off because of mines. There we go. I don't know. Is there anything over here? I'm kind of curious. I guess not. All right, next mission then. We'll just briefly time to start it or we'll watch cutscene. That works too. And they track the sh smuggler ship to here. It's an icy. Very. Oh shit. Okay, we do the icy things. We have to place three sequencer charges in each of the couplings. Uh, but it's a highly, highly volatile place, and, uh, yeah. Because we have to have the gas mask, and you don't get it until you drop down. Okay, now we're actually on ice. Like, they actually have an ice mechanic. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever played, well, probably, like, obviously you played, like, Mario or something. Just imagine that in, like, an FPS game. Okay? Just just imagine that. Use your imagination. How fucking annoyed would you be? It's like places like here. Now, I'm trying to locate it, because there's actually a pair of ice cleats somewhere. And, uh... That would be kind of nice to have. So I want to just briefly look around. But I don't think we're actually going to find it, because I think it's actually in a strange place. And we gotta just kill a bunch of guys. So it's every pl everywhere that you see ice is gonna cause you some problems. Uh, let's just use this for a change. The highly accurate weapon number two. The one that uses more ammo, but is uh, better better for you. Oh wait, it just seemed like a place that there would be mines. Okay, well. The first door cannot enter, and this gave me a little bit of a headache too. But you know, it was one of those things where you just figure it out. 
And uh, it was we actually were just past there. I was just kind of looking back here to see if there was uh, any indication of where I'm supposed to be right now. I'm just looking around for the ice glades. Yeah, I think you got to get from like a waterfall. They're friggin' horrible. You you'd think you'd come prepared, because I mean, come on, this is like freaking the future. <laughs> it's like, are ice glades really that hard to find? All right. Oh shit, okay. Well, here's what you gotta do. There's a giant chasm. You have to run across it. Okay. Now here's the problem. If you run out of momentum, I've noticed that you can't get yourself started again. Like, if you stop on ice. For some reason, it's so slippery you cannot actually start yourself up. Maybe you can? I was just having a shit ton of trouble, like, getting moving again. 